All right, there we go. Now I will not use any ammo. Check out my ammo, bottom right hand side. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KG48. Welcome back to another Let's Play for Seven Days to Die modded series. We are back. Well, this is going to be a new season of Borderlands Z. I actually paused the video because I thought there was a splash screen of the Borderlands thing. Top right hand side, Borderlands Z. We are in version 0.2.4. All right, guys. And not only that, but this is a stable branch. Okay. So this is going to be a lot of fun. For those of you who don't know what Borderlands Z is all about, well, it's a mod for Seven Days to Die, obviously, and it is a tons of guns, um, tons of ammo, tons of awesomeness, and tons of zombies. The zombies, oh boy. Let me just put it this way. Actually, I don't want to spoil last, last season. You guys need to go check out last season, okay? You're going to watch this episode one, you're going to be like, oh my god, this Borderlands thing is freaking sweet. And you're gonna want to like see more, right? Well, go watch last season, and um, I'm just gonna let you know it wasn't your generic, you know, basic, uh, you know, let's play of the of Seven Days to Die. Uh, stuff got real, okay? <laughs> so make sure you go ahead and watch it. Um, this is by this is like become my favorite mod. I mean, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, it is my favorite mod, period. Okay. And um, if you want to see all that text and stuff, uh, go back, like I said, go back to the last uh, season and uh, watch those, watch episode one at least. And I, you know, go through a bunch of that. All right. So I just leveled up, got 35 points, which is awesome. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything into perception to 10 and I'm going to put everything into fortitude to 10. Okay. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to, uh, maybe I should save the rest of my points. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put cardio as high as it'll go. Well, one, I guess. And I'll save the rema remaining five points for now. Okay. Um, now we have to gather, uh, the quest says gather a bunch of stuff. So that's what we need to do next. Um, now that's going to tell me to put stuff down. All right. So I'm going to read this right here. This is going to give me my special skill. Okay. And basically once you've read that, you'll get this little pill box and you're going to go to recipes and there's the Axton turret. There's Brick's person, personality pill. I've never done this one. It's like a melee one. I'm not really that interested in it. I think for this season, we're going to go with Salvador's personality pill. And this is going to give me a Gunzerker Rampage thing that uses no bullets, right? So once you've gotten the pill, you use it. Okay. And then once you've used the pill, you go ahead into your skills and you go to action skills and you pick your skill. So there you go. So now I've got the Gunzerker skill. Um, it's just like in Borderlands. It'll be ready in four minutes. And once it's ready, I can use it. And um, it's pretty freaking it's pretty freaking powerful. All right. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to put all of these items down out here. I was going to go to the trader before I put the items down. Um, but I think now we'll put these down here. Um, I like putting that at the trader because it's safer. But I think we get, I think we hopefully will be okay here. We got that, you know, newbie protection thing um, going on. And the first thing we're going to break open is this one right here because we want our guns first and foremost. All right, so we're going to loot this. And that's going to give us just a, a crap ton of guns. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this over here and we're going to get guns on our hotbar. Now, you might be thinking, Cage, you're kind of being paranoid here right like what's with all the worry about the guns trust me guys i am not being over paranoid this mod is like the real deal all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want some kind of defense so we're going to break open this one right here which is going to be our armor i think right yep armor all right now i could mod up all the stuff i have and i will at some point i'm just not going to do it right now not while i'm out here uh, i probably should have repaired all this stuff you can repair it in here right no you can't all right, we should have repaired this before we put it on. My bad, brah. Oh, actually, when you repair it, it puts it on afterwards. So that is freaking fantastic. Uh, did I put the gloves on afterwards? All right, put the cigar in there because it gives me strength um, instead of the bandana, which doesn't give me much. Well, it gives me mod slots and stuff. Does it have mod slots? Oh, so this gives me strength. Oh, it also gives me bartering. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our ammo and we're going to switch to steel. Steel ammo is um, easier to get, uh, and I, li I like to use it earlier in the game, so we're going to go right there. All right, now we're going to open up the rest of the stuff. We we uh, st By the way, for those of you who are wondering, we are doing this on the multiplayer uh, Let's Play series, and I kind of failed my... Um my buddies, uh, we started we started poorly on the multiplayer series. Again, no spoilers, but we started poorly, and it was my fault. So um, that's why I'm kind of staying hyper-focused on this one. So we're going to put this down here. We just got an epic uh, stone axe, and we put that right. That's exactly where I wanted it. I'm going to go ahead and repair the machete. 
And we're gonna break into the rest of this stuff. Now, the what you're gonna be doing here is follow these quests, guys. I'm telling you, follow these quests. If you don't follow the quests, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And that. And do we need drink? Probably one of these. Yeah, the cooler probably has drink in it. So let's go ahead and grab the cooler. Yeah, you do all these quests. because, And I don't want to spoil it, but there's going to be something at the end of this quest line you're going to want to do this quest for. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to read that. Uh, so where is my drink? I'm going to put that on my hot bar in case I need stamina because we're going to be running to the trade. Oh, the trader's really 5,000 kilometers away. Or 5 kilometers away. Seriously? Uh, that happened to us in our Let's Play world. It's very frustrating because that's the next thing we have to do. We have to go to the trader. All right, so one thing I am going to do, I'm not going to be doing any modding, but I'm going to do one thing of modding right now because this thing right here is the Hyper Hyperion Target Health Visor, and I think you get what that does, right? It's going to allow us to see the hit points of the zombies. So there we go. Just put that in right now, and now I am just going to simply run to the trader. Uh, let me make sure I have a silencer on one of these weapons. Uh, I'm going to put the silencer on this one. Uh, so I should have a silencer around here. Um, yeah, right there. And we'll also put another thing on there because we can. I'm not going to be doing a lot of fighting on the way to the trader, so. Hopefully we could just stay on the road. That would be nice. Alright, guys. Let's get to the freaking trader. Alright, so there's a couple more skills I want to put in. I think healing factor is going to be a key thing here. And pain tolerance. Uh, yeah, one more healing factor and another pain tolerance. There we go. We get that healing factor going. So now we need to run to the trader. Um, I was hoping that this wouldn't be five ki uh, kilometers away. Uh, if you're wondering what the seed of this world is, it is called... <laughs> this is all one word and all lowercase. And the seed is, the internet is for porn. Now, who's going to be the first to tell me in the comment section where that came from? Because that is a deep cut. Okay? That is a deep cut. All right? Let me know in the, let me know in the comment section, guys. Oh, this is really wasteland. Am I going to have to go through the wasteland to get... Man, this is supposed to be a good seed. It's supposed to be like a 90 traders on this map. All right, maybe not 90. It's supposed to be like five, I think. So, all right, let's see if we can get through here. I'm telling you, once the zombies start, guys. Oh, you know what? Bedroll. Oh, you, oh, that's another thing. I'm not going to make a bedroll. I'm not going to make a bedroll. All right, so here's the thing, guys. Uh, the settings on this are going to be a little bit different than my regular settings. And the main setting that's going to be different is the setting that... Um, what I drop on death. Uh, the settings are, I don't drop anything on death. Now you might be thinking, Cage, what's with, what's with these noob settings, bro? Why are you so weak, bro? Um, yeah, it's not me. The developer actually state, like suggests that you set it up like that. Uh, it's a dog. It's a black dog, too. Um, yeah, the developer himself, uh, you know, suggests you set it up like that because you, what, this is like Borderlands, right? Um, you're going to get special guns. You're going to get legendary guns. You're going to get awesome guns. And the fact of the matter is, uh, there's a good chance that you could lose your guns if you, um, you know, you, if you die, there's a, you might not be able to get your bag back. Like, it's a real possibility. So when the developer says that, I take, I take notice. So I am, um, I'm going to set it up to drop nothing on death. Um, so with that being said, I'm not going to put down a bedroll because who knows, maybe if I die, I'll die closer to the trader. I don't want to die anyway because it's going to lower my stats. There's still a, you know, penalty for death. It's just, um, not quite as bad. Is he following me? No. Yeah, this guy is. Right, I'm going to run by him. So you might be wondering why the zombies are running. Oh, that's another thing I've set up. I, I've set this up exactly the way the um, the developer told me to, except for uh, Warrior Difficulty. I don't I don't think this uh, should be played on Warrior Difficulty. It's pretty badass. Um, like I said, go watch my Season 1. Uh, this is no joke. So I don't agree with the Warrior Difficulty part, but he also said to set him up as Walk, Walk, Jog, Jog. And, like, you know how, like, you could set up the zombies to, like, do you, oh, that's a zombie bear over there. Um, you know, you could set up the zombies to, um, you know, well, walk, jog, or sprint, or whatever. Th those are the those are the suggested speeds that he said to use. So, and no, I'm not going to stop and gut that deer, because this is not the time. Um, also, uh, the silencer is important in this mod, if you don't want screamers and other zombies to bear down on you. I'm telling you, this mod is no joke, guys. You remember Gana mod? This makes Gana mod look like, you know, child's play. Well, maybe not that far. Gana mod was pretty tough, but um, it's it's tougher than Gana mod. I've had some serious issues with it. Um, but it's fun, because you know what? He gives us awesome guns. He gives us lots of ammo. He gives us new things to do. I might not make a horde base for day seven. I might not. I, ma I made a horde base um, in season one. Uh, 
And you know, the thing about the horde base is it's it's you know it's fine, but it it takes away from some of the things you want to do, like loot and explore and buy and sell and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm actually make a horde base for day seven. I'll probably eventually make a horde base. I just don't know when. All right. So my um my ability just came up by the way. So I don't remember what it looks. Yeah, there it is. So whenever you get your abilities, you're going to get like these little pill bottle looking things. And then once you use them, actually, that's a jar. Once you use them, uh, then you're good to go. You'll just, you'll, you know, use your abilities. The, I, the one I took last season was the turret. And basically it just simply puts a turret down and um, the turret's down and it decimates everything. Uh, it has 50, it comes with 50,000 rounds. It lasts for like, you know, 30 seconds or whatever. The more, the more points you put into it, the longer it lasts. And uh, we need to stay away from zombie bears, I think. Um, you know, and uh, it's it's a pretty it's a badass turret. Oh, landmine. Yeah. At least it was easy to, easy to spot. Um, so yeah, so the turret was uh, was freaking awesome. There's no there's no way around. There's no two ways about that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this. We gotta watch out for landmines. I didn't think about that. Um, so the turret was awesome, but I wanted to try something different. Now I tried the gun zerker skill in uh, the multiplayer series, and I really liked it. So. Um, that's why I'm going to use it here. Is it better than the Gunzerka thing? The thing about the um, the thing about these skills is they don't take ammo. Ammo is key in this mod. You are not going to be meleeing. I don't know. Maybe you guys can melee. I don't know. You prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, internet. Prove me wrong. Uh, melee is not what you do in this mod. Um, and, and hold on. Okay. Yeah, melee is not what you do in this mod. And um, forget about bows. All right, it's all guns all the time. Okay. Oh my God, there's so many freaking bears. But the cool thing about the uh, skills, the Gunzerker skill uh, makes me run around like a nut job and shoot like everything and kill everything. And the cool thing is it doesn't take any ammo. And the turret also comes with 50,000 rounds. So it's basically, a, you know, unlimited ammo. So that's a tank zombie. All right, so we have, there's different kinds of zombies in this mod. There's um there's kind of like tanks and scouts, right? Um, the tanks have super hit points that are super slow. The scouts have low hit points that are super fast. Um, also, whenever you shoot zombies, I think all zombies can enrage. I'm not sure if it's called enrage or not, um, but I, I'm pretty sure all zombies can enrage. I think it's called enrage. Not really sure. Um, and what enrage is, is when you start damaging them, they get fast. Day, night, walk. Jog, doesn't matter. Um, they get fast. Now that's a scout right there. 62 hit points. Yeah, that's like nothing. That's like nothing. All right. Oh boy, a lot of scouts. A lot of burnt scouts, huh? Is that a snake? Sounds like a snake. Now you might be thinking, big deal, Cage. Snake, right? Who cares? By the way, I got to sit up. Uh, big deal, snake, right? Who gives a crap? Well... I give a crap because there's anacondas in this game and they're giant. Okay. Giant freaking anaconda snakes of death. Just ugh, don't like them. All right. Oh man. All right. He's not on me. So what is the deal with this bear? That's like some kind of albino bear. Does he have a name? You got a name, bro? What's your name? Uh, it's just zombie bear version two. Okay. So I don't know if it has like a specific name. I'll call it I'll call it um albino bear. Albino it's a zombie bear though, I think. Yeah, it definitely is. Um I'll call it zombie zombie albino bear. I think that works pretty good. Now I wasn't gonna record the run, guys. Like I no intention of recording this run, but if I'm going through wasteland with a freaking zombie bear and vultures after me, um, you know, I guess I might as well record it, right? But um yeah, it seems like we're we're kind of okay. He'll give up eventually. So, you just got to watch your stamina, that's all. Probably drink another coffee soon, too. Well, guys, this is giving me a lot of hope, man. There is a really, really beautiful town here, which is just wonderful. Um, and this town is, like, two kilometers away from the trader. Two kilometers away from the trader is no problem. I will find a place to live in this town. I've already seen a couple spots that um, look kind of promising. Um, yeah, this is, this is where I want to be. There's a water tower right there. You can get water out of that. I, there's probably a lot of pools around here that I'm just not seeing. Um, this looks like a really fantastic town. You know, 17.3's uh, random uh, random world gen is not perfect by any means, but uh, it's it's definitely a step up, man. Definitely a step up. This may actually be some water down here. Nope. As a four, wait, as a four player, what? What did that say? Totally missed that. 
I still got new player protection. I don't know what that is. That must, I wonder if I can actually take damage. I didn't even think about that. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if we can get to this traitor. Alright, we are almost there, guys. Just about one kilometer. By the way, when these guys are blue, they're scouts. Well, I don't know if they're scouts, but they're fast. I know when they're blue, they're fast. This is an incredible, uh, incredibly good spot, by the way. Um, I've got snow in case I want to use that to get uh, snowballs for water. I've got uh, the desert out here for sand. Um, yeah, this is a really, uh, really good spot. Um, you know, I mean, the trader, you know, two, two kilometers away from the trader is not perfect by any means, but it's pretty good. Damn it, man. Not doing good on those guys today. I was blasting them in the uh, multiplayer series, but not so much on this one. Oh, boy. I can't wait to get this trader. All right, guys. We are in view of the trader. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, put down a sleeping bag. Um, and then I'm going to uh, do my gun zerker skill for you guys because I think that would be pretty fun. Um, you know, you guys haven't seen Oh, my God. Uh, I might have to do it before I put... I mean, I can always go in the trader and kill the... Kill the zombies from inside the trader with no problems whatsoever. But I kind of want to show you the gun zerker skill. So uh, let me see. The problem is the inventory. The inventory is so freaking crazy, you know? Um, oh, look at that. I got to check that out. You know what? Let's, let's, let's see if we can get some distance. If I can't get any distance, I'll just go into the trader, put the bedroll down, and then just come out and kill the zombies. I'm not going to fight them um, without putting a bedroll down because I finally got to where I want to be. So... You know, it only makes sense. All right, there we go. All right, let's do it. Here we go, guys. Wish me luck. All right, there we go. Now, I will not use any ammo. Check out my ammo, bottom right-hand side. Also, this thing only lasts a certain amount of time, but the cool thing is the more zombies you kill, you get more time on. I can't look at the left-hand side to see the amount of time that it's taking, but if you see, it might be going up as I kill. I don't have to reload. I don't need ammo. I don't need nothing. All I need is zombies to kill. Oh, yeah. By the way, zombies do drop loot in this mod, and it is fantastic loot. All right. Let's do this. Is it, is it over? Nope. It's still on. Cool, cool, cool. Since I still got one minute on it. Let's keep killing, right? Kill everything, man. Yeah, this is pretty powerful, man. No joke. See, the thing that makes this better than the turret is you can keep it going. Oh, boy. Now, I do have really good armor, so that's nice, but I'm not as powerful as I need to be just yet. So I do have to be careful when getting hit. But it's not like in vanilla. You can get hit, and it's not like the end of the world. Oh, there we go. All right, now we're off. Right, let's grab the loot in GTFO. Get back, get to the trader. So you saw those colored guns, right? I mean, that's the, it's like Borderlands, man. It's like Borderlands. Freaking mod. It's so, it's my favorite mod right now by far. By far. Well, I love, I love uh, Darkness Falls. But yeah, this mod is just blowing my socks off, man. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. That gun zerker skill is just legit. And I can use it again in, uh, what, five minutes. That, my friends, is a tank zombie. And I don't have the skill I need yet. Alright, whatever. You're gonna die. You're gonna die! No, you're gonna die! No, you're all gonna die! 
Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Hold up, hold up, lady. Hold up. See, look at that armor. The armor is legit. What's going on, man? I'm glad you took your time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad you took your time. We're gonna stop using- we're gonna stop using the SMG, because it does throw away a lot of bullets. And we're gonna start going with the pistol. Um, I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna get some new items in here once I come in here and complete the quest, so let's do that. Alright, here we go. By the way, vending machines? Hey, asshole. You better not bring any diseases into my store. All right, take it easy, buddy. Vending machines, look at all these guns, man. There's different manufacturers of guns, just like in Borderlands. There's the Fun Pimps, that's like the most basic. There's like, I think, five or so. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of different uh, manufacturers. And these things right here, they're usually only for multiplayer, player versus player stuff, or player to player. These things all have stuff in them as well. They also get restocked daily. Freaking daily, right? That is awesome. Let's go talk to the trader. All right, there we go. You get any uh, points? Oh yeah, so we got twenty-four points now. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is we need to get these guns, you know, going. You can pause that and read it if you like. This tells you about the action skills. All right, so where do we want to spend our points? Survivability. Um, and then let's go with Lucky Looter. Um, not Salvage Operations. Um, better Barter would be pretty good. I think we need to go with, uh, Guns first, stuff. Uh, Run and Gun. Boom Headshot. Actually, I'm just going, I'm going max on Boom Headshot. That's my favorite skill. Uh, now we need to be able to reload faster, alright? I really like the pistol. I really like the shotgun. Automatic weapons. Do we want to spread this out, or do we want to go pistol and shotgun more? Automatic weapons, I'm usually more distance from the enemies. Pistol and shotgun's going to be my bread and butter. So let's do that. There we go. There's all my points spent. Alright, so now we've got some... Now we've got massive defense. Um, massive defense with pain tolerance and healing factor. Um, we've got... Nothing in here. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't really... Uh, pack me might be good. So this stuff will be okay. Uh, but here we've also got run and gun. We've got boom headshot. Boom headshot's awesome because of the chance to explode head, heads on hit. Hit head on hit. And the thing about... Bo the thing about... Um, here, hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I should have done this in the beginning. I got to remember to turn down the zombies in, in this one. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Boom headshot. Uh, yeah, 35% chance to explode heads on hit. The thing is, you could have the toughest zombie out there with the most hit points, a billion hit points. You still have a 30% chance to one-shot him. 35% chance. That, that skill actually might be OP, to be perfectly honest. Although it's pretty expensive. Oh, that's just a regular, uh, sneak. There you go. Alright. Alright, so now what do we want to do? Um, oh, I know what we want to do. We gotta clear out the zombies, honestly. Um, because we, we got some more stuff to place down. First of all, let's read stuff. Magazine for- oh, those are magazine stuff. I don't want to do that. Quest to kill some zombies. We're going to read that. It's going to give us a quest to kill a bunch of zombies. And then we need to place this down right here. The Hyperion tech package. And we should have something else in here. By the way, this right here is, uh, rations. Um, so where- where's the- I thought it was another package in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's go ahead and repair these. Gonna go ahead and repair those guns because we're gonna sell them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I might as well sell them now. I I'll, I'll mess around. I might want to take the mods out of them and stuff, so I won't sell them right now. Right. I would kill these guys from the wall. I go out there when you don't need to, right? All right? Can we make this pistol better? All right. So this is what we're gonna do, guys. We are going to modify this. We're gonna take out the silencer. Actually, I'm going to take everything out. I'm probably not going to use this uh, weapon anymore. And then we're going to go to the pistol. I'm a big fan of the pistol because it saves ammo. We're going to take everything out of there. Now we're going to look at all our mods and we're going to try to make the best pistol we can. Now, silencers are important because you don't want to call in screamers. If you, I'm telling you right now, if you don't use silencers, you will get screamers. And they're not your they're not your vanilla screamers. They are bad. All right, so we're going to put a silencer in there. Then we're going to put a magazine extender. And then we're going to put the advanced barrel. The advanced barrel is my favorite item in this mod. Um, range damage 27%. I don't think I have to say anymore. And now we have a pistol that's doing... Uh, 57 damage. Alright, not bad. And that's with steel bullets. So... Alright, let's clear these guys out. Okay. 
Okay. Come on. There you go. Alright. It doesn't look like there's that many out there. I'm just gonna go out there. The hell with it. What's the worst that could go wrong? Uh, before we go out there, though, let's put that there. How long for my skill? Oh, my skill's already up. Well, <laughs> I think this is uh, right, gonna write itself. Here, guys. Here we go! Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it! <sighs> Killing me. Literally. Look at the heads exploding. Okay, how about you guys? You want a little? There you go! Tough guy! Beautiful. Oh! oh I love it. The snake. That's not the anaconda, though. Oh, head exploded. See, that guy's got a lot of hit points. And his head just got exploded. Alright, don't forget to loot these guys. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at this! Oh, yeah, I forgot there's invisible zombies, too. Silent Dwight. Not so, uh, invisible. Once you see him. Once you notice he's there. Cool. Alright. So let's go ahead and place this down. And then break that bad boy open. And what is this? A tech package? Oh, alright. Look at that. A doll. A doll is one of the uh, modders in the in the um, game. And that's his um, company. It's not like a real company. It's like a manufacturer's company. I like Borderlands stuff. Um, this right here is a small workbench. You need workbenches to craft anything. This right here is a laptop. We're going to get into that next episode. Um, I kind of want to put all this stuff down and finish this up. So there we go. So now you got two more things in that package. So we're going to go ahead and break this out. We're going to break the other one out. There's one thing I want you to see before I end this video that's going to blow your mind. All right. There's a bunch of resources. And what could possibly be in here? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, doggy. We got a freaking motorcycle. Now, you know, you might think, well, a big deal motorcycle, right? It's just a motorcycle. Well, this isn't just any motorcycle, fellas. If I could put it down, that would be wonderful. And then we're going to gas it up. That's not how you gas it up. This is how you gas it up. Come on, gas it up, Cage. Uh, we're going to repair it. We're going to refuel it. Now check this out. Check this thing out. This thing's on freaking steroids, man. I'm telling you, this thing, this thing's too fast. Um, what I mean by that is it's going to be hard for you to operate. Okay? These things are fast as hell. Look at this. Look at this. And you can do some sick tricks, too, if you hit stuff the right way. Sick trick! Alright, maybe not there. Alright, let's try a sick trick up here. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy, that is not what I wanted to do. That's not sick tricks, Cage. Cage, we were promised sick tricks. Now, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Like I said, this thing uh, doesn't handle the best because it's so freaking fast. But I think you get the idea. This thing's awesome, and you will see some ch sick tricks in upcoming episodes. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more of Borderlands Z, you like the video and all that stuff, make sure you uncage the like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And you know what? None of that stuff works. So why don't you just do your favor, do yourself a favor, bookmark my, my YouTube page. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.